Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper here with A.G. the Intern. Me. And, what day is it? Tell All Tuesday. Tell All Tuesday. We have a list of things to talk about today. But we were talking right before we started recording this. Uh-huh. And you were talking about your hair. Yeah. You know, which I think looks nice. Oh, thank you. But what I have noticed, uh-huh. think about this. Okay. I'm watching, you know, I'm a news junkie. Uh-huh. I watch all the, all the news different channels. Uh-huh. Long hair is back. Oh, yeah. I mean, with women in their 40s, 50s, 60s, yeah. whatever. Long hair is in. And it's like they all go to the same stylist or something because it, it's all parted in the middle and yes. hanging down. Mm-hmm. That's the style. Now. Or is that called amber? I wish, <laughs> I wish, but no, it is, the style is to part it down the middle now, and I don't have them, but people get what's called curtain bangs to like frame the face a little bit. Maybe I should do that because my hair has been absolutely crazy recently. Like I just can't get it. But when did it start back? I mean, for a while, I, seriously, I remember my wife, my wife, when we got married, had hair down to her waist. Mm-hmm. And then she's, I remember saying to me, she said, I'm at a certain age that it's, I don't wear my hair long uh-huh. anymore. And, but now it, it's like age doesn't matter. It does not. Long hair is in. Long hair and short hair is in, honestly. It's really. I am seeing about short hair hardly. Yeah, it's. Mm, yeah, long hair is in. Parted in the middle, long hair. I cut my hair earlier this year. It was much longer than it is now. It's not even that long anymore, but. So. Hey, wait a minute. It's not that long anymore. No. <laughs> it's long. It's so much. Go back and watch some of our older videos, like from January and February, March. Mm-hmm. It's so long. Go look later. You know what else is in? What else is in? Glasses. Glasses <laughs> are in. Jackie has some new glasses, <laughs> if you can't tell. All right. Want well, to know what y'all think? Because I used to wear glasses that were almost like non-glasses. Uh-huh. Invisible were, glasses. Yes. They didn't have like a rim. Mm, you know, it was just like, oh, you know, oh, you don't wear glasses. Go here, you do. I decided, I had to I had to get the prescription changed. I had problems with my eyes a little bit. Had to have the prescription changed. And I thought, I'm going to get glasses. Yeah. And I did it all without, I went to your roommate's father. Yes. And office and have eyes examined and everything. And while I was there, the young lady said, uh, do you want to pick out some frames? And I, you know, this was before I even had my eyes examined. I said, nah, no way. And then I thought, I said, we used to, in my day, call dark frame glasses horn rim glasses. Never heard of that. I did figure you <laughs> <laughs> But she hadn't either. She uh-huh. went, huh? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and I said, just dark, dark, and she said, we have one pair I think we might want. Mm-hmm. And she brought them over and I put them on and I thought, I look like Clark Kent. <laughs> <laughs> Keep looking for problems. <laughs> and then I came home and my wife went, whoa. <laughs> and said, I'll have to get used to them. Uh-huh. So then we sat there and said, who do you look like? You know, we said Steve Martin. I see Steve Martin. And different people. And then we finally ended up, you have to be of a certain age to know this, but there was an animated character called Mr. Magoo. Never heard of that. You know, I think it was like the near side of Mr. Magoo. And he, he always squinted until he got these big, big, glasses mm-hmm. and sound estate. And that's what I look like. Yeah, I think you like Steve Martin. Yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty... But I like the glasses. Yeah, you know? I like them too. And let me, let, let me know. Yeah. You know, what y'all think. You know, you, you don't have... You, know, you could say, why do you use those kind of glasses <laughs> or whatever. So. <laughs> don't be mean to Jackie, though. No. Just, tell no. Them, just tell them they're nice. Yeah, just Even say, if you don't like them. Oh, you got glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got glasses, I see. But then the other thing I was thinking about and I know that I said that last week you and Cody mm-hmm. went to the state fair and yeah. you corrected me. I did. City employee. I did. <laughs> and what did you correct me to? It's the Georgia National Fair. It's not the state fair. It's the National Fair. Now, don't ask me why. I was going to say, 
Georgia is not a nation. It's not, but I, there's a reason it's called the National Fair. Now, I don't have any, with my current job, I don't have anything to do with the fair. I'm, I'm You're a, a supporter. I am a supporter. I'm a community partner, but I don't do anything with the fair. So, I don't know why it's called the National Fair. You know, as we're sitting here, I'm thinking, when they first brought the fair to Perry, mm -hmm. there was a state fair in Vegas. Yes, I think that's still a thing. And maybe the name was already taken. So they just put national And on so it? they just said, well, we're the national fair, which even sounds bigger. Yeah. But what I was yeah. thinking about was we've got so many people who follow us in so many different places mm -hmm. in the world or in the United States, whatever. What kind of fairs do you have in your city or yeah. in your country? I'd be really interested to know that. Yeah. Is there a France State Fair. Is there a France State Fair? Let us know. But what I want to know is, is it a big deal where you are? Like, does it come once a year and then everybody is just like paying all kinds of money to go and spend money on the rides and on the food and on the games and whatever? I, <laughs> in my old age, <laughs> I can ride about two rides and then I have to stop or I'll, I'll get a little sick. So I've had to cut back. <laughs> on, on the rides, but I used to love roller coasters and flips and all kinds of things. At Disney That's World, a, I suck it up though because I'm telling the you, ride. the last ride I rode was that thing at Disney World uh -huh. that you go er, 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 and then you go okay. And I had Terry with me, and Terry was screaming her head off. It was right. dark. It was dark inside. It was inside a building. And it was dark, and it was a roller coaster. Rock and roller coaster? And it wasn't called. Maybe they may have taken it off by now. But you had to be a certain age to ride it. We met. We met the age requirement, and we were in the front seat in the front. It was a roller coaster. Yes, and it wasn't outside. It was, it was indoors. Indoors, and you could not see that you were getting up to this drop. You just was <laughs> And huh. then you got, and all of a sudden, you just, it was like this bottom fell out. Huh, I wonder what that is. I can't think of what that could be off the top of my head. If you're, if you go, if you know what he's talking about. That was my last time. Disney to, World or Disneyland? The one in Florida. World. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you know what he's talking I've about. I've never been to Disneyland. Let us know. I've been, anyway. I've been to Disney World. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I, you know, I just wanted, because when I was coming along mm -hmm. in South Carolina, mm -hmm. The state fair was just, or the county fair. We had the county fair. Yeah. And it was just huge, you know. And yeah. even here in Perry, our little Perry, they let school out the week of the fair. And they do. <laughs> they give everybody a fall break. Yeah, just yeah. go out there and spend your money on mm -hmm. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We used to yeah. we used to take our boys and we fed them before they went to the before fair. they went to the fair, so they so wouldn't they ask would for all. My wife did yeah. not trust air food yeah. at all yeah it's expensive and it's a little depending on where you get it you know it's a little <laughs> <laughs> might not feel very good the next day but anyway let us know about your fares yes and and say that and if i'm not going to belabor this but last weekend i went to see la la crocodile yes and I loved it. He did. He texted me when he got out I of the did. movie. He was like, you need to go see this. If you like The Greatest Showman, you need to go see this. So. Because the same two guys who wrote the songs for The Greatest Showman wrote the songs for La La Crocodile. Yeah. And our buddy, Sean Mendez, mm -hmm. is is the voice of La La he Crocodile. Is. Yeah. yeah. And it's just such, you know, people say, well, is it just a movie for kids? Well, it's a movie for kids. It's got a crocodile in it. Uh -huh. you know? But... It's something that adults can enjoy. It's just enjoyable, entertaining. It's just fun. You come out feeling good. You feel good about yourself, and you, and then you feel good about all the crocodiles in the world. <laughs> it was just amazing. Interesting. And okay. it, 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 it seems to me like I'm like going few and far between of movies that, that I like. Mm -hmm. Mending the line and now La La Crocodile. Those are mm -hmm. two, you know, that are right up there. Yeah. So. I enjoyed that. Yeah, that's well, good. And you're going back to the fair tonight. And I'm going back to the fair tonight. So <laughs> that's where I'll be. That's where she'll be. I will be home watching newscasts with women with long hair. Yes, yes, you will. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. 
This has been Tell All Tuesday, and I am not Mr. Magoo. I am Jackie K. Cooper, here with... Agent Intern.